Welcome to a very blustery Kiwatia Street for the ASB Premiership Round 3 match between Auckland City and Hawke's Bay United. Both teams have a 100% record, two wins from two games, and something has got to give here this afternoon. Hawke's Bay, of course, have had their best start to an ASB Premiership season since the competition began. And for Auckland City, just uh, one change. Emiliano Tade starting this week. While for Hawke's Bay United, Sean Lovemore is a danger man. He's currently leading the Golden Boot Race for 2012-2013 with four goals. So we're underway here at Kiwatia Street. Bill Robertson, the former Canterbury defender. Something of a stalwart now for Hawke's Bay. Connor Tinian wants that back to a teammate now, Peverly. Well, Tade's managed to uh, get involved here, and that's going to be a free kick to Auckland City. It's in a pretty handy position. Jason Hicks will fancy his chances from the set play. Auckland City are going to load up uh, at that back post. The Hawks Bay goalkeeper Richard Gillespie, of course, is a former Auckland City player himself. He's lining up his wall with Harley Radeka. Mark Hester invites the wall to step back. So Exposito is marked by Peverly just in and around the left of that wall. Here's Hicks and off target. Riera. Now Tade can't get the ball through. It's hacked clear. Here's Hicks. Nice ball played wide to Koprasic. Pritchett's made the overlapping run into the far post and headed clear. Auckland are queuing up at the back post. Here's Tade. Trying to find a gap. Robertson clears. And that's a hefty challenge by Bill Robertson on Manel Exposito. When Robertson goes in for a challenge, uh, opponents stay hit. And Exposito's feeling the full force of that. And he's going to receive some attention and uh, Auckland City skipper Ivan Vizilic having a word to referee Mark Hester about the challenge. Well it's been a physical encounter this afternoon. No quarter given and unexpected. Here's a chance for Hawks Bay to spring forward and Lovemore is through. He's round Tarmany Williams and can shoot into an empty net. 1-0 to Hawks Bay. And it's Lovemore's fifth goal of the season. And he receives the congratulations of his teammates. Hawks Bay 1-0 up. Remember, they've never won at Kiwatia Street. And for the third time this season, Auckland City have conceded first. It's a wonderful ball through from Peverly. And Tamadi Williams felt he had to come out and offer some sort of uh, resistance, but Lovemore skipped around him. And Vissilich could do nothing. That's a tidy finish from a tight angle. Lovemore. Oh, and that's a missed time challenge by Taku Iwata. I don't think it... It was a cynical effort by the Japanese left back, but uh, he's certainly left his mark. Both players are down. He's excellent at going forward, uh, Taku Iwata, but the defensive side of things, uh, as you can see there, he's thrown himself at it and it's resulted in a free kick. Mark Hester is having a word to the assistant referee on the far side. And the free kick will be taken by Connor Tinian. And just a yard over the top. No problem for Tamadi Williams. Oh. That's a yellow card and it's going to be Harley Radeka. The injured player is Manel Exposito.
Confirmation of the booking. Vesilic. For Jason Hicks. Now Fenerides, he's got uh, Iwata to his left. Oh, and he's got round the back of Harley Rodeca. Can he cut it back? Exposite. Oh, it's going to fall to Fenerides. Oh, and it's in. As he has done so often in the past, Alex Fenerides. He's hauled Auckland out of a spot of bother. And it's Auckland City 1, Hawks Bay United 1. Well, it was a move started by Fenerides and appropriately finished by the same player. And Richard Gillespie didn't get a good look at it. It was obscured partly as uh, Bill Robertson slid in to try and take the ball off of Fenerides. And we're all square. Bale's header. Tade back into Dickinson. Picked up by Exposito. Riera, nice pass for Iwata. Oh, and play has been brought back with uh, Auckland very much on the attack. It could be a head injury. Well, it doesn't look like a head injury, in fact. And we're going to restart with uh, a drop ball. Iwata, Tade, clipped by Cole Peverley. Another free kick for Auckland. Exposito, and uh, that's over the top. Didn't trouble Gillespie. So Auckland City have a corner. Exposito will take it. You can see Corrales at the bottom of your picture there lurking. Headed clear. Corrales one touch. Oh, and the shot on the rise, and it just flashes over the top. Hawks Bay on the attack. Plenty of space to move into. There's support coming up here on the right. It's Harley Rodeca. Tade's gone to shut him down. Now Iwata slides in. Oh, and he's copped a bit of a whack there from Harley Rodeca. We're in the dying moments of this match, and uh, Iwata looks as though he's taken a bit of a whack. There's a conference going on here, and Hester reaches for a yellow card, and this is going to be a red card to follow it. Indeed it is, and Radek has been sent off. Well, it, uh, it was very difficult to tell just exactly what happened there. He may feel somewhat unlucky. So time almost up here at Kiwatia Street, Auckland City. And Hawks Bay United have produced a one-all draw here. They retain their unbeaten record in the ASB Premiership, but that 100% winning record is now over for both sides. OK, Chris, uh, happy with the point today? Yeah, happy. Yeah, I think uh, I think we brought ourselves into the game and um, looked comfortable for, for periods. Had to do a lot of hard work. The boys have put in a, a massive shift, obviously, but, yeah, satisfied with the point. Sean Lovemore's... Uh, been amongst the goals and another one today and how did you see that yeah absolutely we're asking Sean to change his game up a little bit obviously um, he, I don't know if he's the quickest thing in the league but there aren't many quicker than him so we're getting him to play for his to his strengths and and, and try and drop on the, the shoulder of the last man uh, for a, able to, to counter and uh, he's done it with a plum again today he's working hard and he's understanding what's expected of him now so um, yeah I can't say enough good stuff about him most observers now after three rounds are saying that Hawks Bay is a, a top four side. Would you describe yourselves that way? It's where we want to be. I've made no secret of that. I think we've recruited well. We've got a, a good bunch of honest, committed winners there that, that want, to, want to finish in the top four. Um, so we've had a good start. We've won the two games we, we probably should have won and, uh, and we've come up here. And, and for me, this is probably a bonus point. I think we've lost every other game we've played up here. So uh, we're delighted with our start. You know, We've got another game that we're probably expected to win next week in, against Otago. And uh, we'll see what happens. Each game as it comes, but yeah, happy. And how did you see the second yellow card for Harley? 
I'd like to see it again. I don't want to sit on the fence too much, but it was in the court. I thought it was innocuous, and, and uh, but I, I thought that about the first one as well. So I might, I might, in the heat of the moment, I mean, it'd be great to look at the video again, but it was almost in the last kick of the game, and it, we'll miss him last week. He's been brilliant, uh, next week, should I say. He's been brilliant for us, so it's a, it's a bit of a blow, that one, to be honest. It's put a bit of a sour taste on the, on the, the game, but that's, that's football.